What's going on guys? In this video I get to review something that I've been wanting for a very long time. I've actually had this in my cart for about six months and I just now finally uh, went ahead and purchased it because of, not because of Swamp Ass is stuff in here, but they're two good candidates to be able to go onto this lift. So no better time to break it out and try it out than now. So getting down to it, this is the Derek Weaver 1500 pound high rise lift. There's a couple of reasons why I went with this one over the other ones, and we'll kind of go over that just real quick. Um, but the overall, kind of my opinion of it, just right out of the crate, overall it's great. Very sturdy, very heavy duty. I already like the features of the casters. There's four of them down there on each end. Uh, the Everything seems to be fitting together fine, going together fine. Very heavy duty, very thick metal. Everything's powder coated, set up nice. A lot of good hardware. It came in a box here that you had to get shipped to. I was kind of hesitant on ordering it because I thought shipping was going to take forever since it is a freight. The thing's 760 pounds or whatever. Uh, so we just had to deal up with the freight company just a little bit. They shipped it pretty well. I mean, it's right to my door, but since I have gates and everything, you can't get back here. So uh, long story short, unboxed it on crate. Everything went fine. The crate was fine. T tore it up. Came with a lot of parts here. So... Let me, I guess, get down to the reason why I've got the motorcycle lift or why I went with the motorcycle lift versus like the full-blown one of the big ones. I liked the motorcycle lift because in this form right here, I should be able to get all my big side-by-sides onto just by picking it up from the skid plate and the tires can start, you know, hanging down at like that angle or something going down. Uh, if anything, I would just have to put maybe a bigger block in the center to get the belly of it up and where the tires hang down. So that'll take care of all my big side-by-side -side stuff. The thing is 29 and a half inches wide at this point here. If I want to do pretty much any four-wheeler will fit on here, and then not at this though. That's what these bars are for. They go into three different slots, one there, down there, and down there. And that's where these side tracks come in, which then makes the total width a little bit longer or wider. I want to say 51 inches. Don't quote me because it's 51 or 52, but... That extension over here goes on the front, so we can even go farther out the front, which I think overall length is a uh, hundred. So, um, and these are the ramps. These are the, the ramps for the extension right there, and then the back extension. These all come off. Some of the other ones, that was kind of another deciding factor, was some of these are hard mounted down here, which isn't bad, but then again, when I pick it up, I can just grab it at this height right here, and then pull it off. Uh, it's got a removable place right here for the motorcycle tires and everything, which I don't see that coming off very much for my my use. Okay, actually, I'll take all that back. The main thing on this one here is because this one was the highest one. That's kind of the reason why they call it the high rise. This one rises up to 41 inches tall. The other ones, and most of the other ones, are or 33. So, I mean, as you can tell from, let's say, like the workbench there, I mean, it's the sucker's tall or... or his four-wheeler. So, yeah, this sucker's real tall. The only thing you got to do to it when you do get it is you do have to supply the air fittings. Uh, pretty much just this one. As you can see, I've got the automotive style, so my fittings are a little bit larger. But that will go here. And then they supply this one, which will go into here. And then this hose right there will then plug into that fitting. It's got many different latches down here, as you can see, and then also the release right here. You pull that back, which will then put tension on the plate and release it. Don't even have it hooked up yet. I guess I can go ahead and throw this in. Also, the other thing is that there is a stabilization bar. One of these fits these feet right here, down here on the end, and so you got a lot of stab stabilization. But, uh, at this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw on these air fittings real quick, hook it up. You do have, this is a pneumatic lift, so it does need a minimum or at least 100 PSI air compressor to lift this thing up. And there's your pump. Just a little foot pedal pump. I mean, but look at the construction of it, though. Very solid. All right, I'm going to go ahead. Next thing, uh, I'm going to put on the extensions. Put on the air fittings and we'll go ahead and lift this thing up. All 
All right, and this is everything put together. Got the stabilization bar on. Like I said, you just put those little feet on the ends there. It's about 12 inches added width there. Got the side extensions on, and the whole ramp is on. Now there is a, another piece, which is this one here, that'll go into the front to extend that much more. Like I said, I'm not gonna use that because no four wheeler is going to extend that much and I would just be limited on getting in there close. Also, since this is a motorcycle lift, it does come with this whole uh, wheel chalk system here, which I'm not gonna use because I don't have a single, single wheel. If anything, I might strap it down in the front because it does provide uh, two of those eye bolts up there at the front, right there. And maybe I can maybe say lock in a rear tire or a front tire on that point. So maybe make the whole thing and put a bigger bar across the whole center front to act as a stop. But I think this is going to be the first one up on the lift here. So let's drop it down, load it up. Here we got the rancher loaded. Everything you just drive up there with the wheel chocks or the wheel casters being all the way up. Of course, everything is just sitting, the whole frame is sitting on the ground by itself. And so we'll go ahead and see what this 1500 pound lift will do. Everything is on. Of course, I got a bigger shop now, still cramped, but let's go. Just push on the release. And that locks it in. And I don't even think I'm up all the way yet. I think I got one more click. But check that out. And so if you're saying, am I going to be clear with everything else? The way I got it positioned, you know, the rafter is actually without that light here. Any side-by-side -side cage or any four-wheeler and snorkels, other than that little conduit right there, it's gonna fit perfectly up in between the rafters. And that was kind of another thing I was looking at with the two post lift or a you know, car lift and anything, is just I still can get everything up in between these rafters. Even if this thing were lift all the way up, it would still fit between the rafters. So any cage, anything height-wise is not an issue. This is a 10 foot tall to the, to the rafter there, so. But there we go. Take a look at it, guys. It's a big old thing for a shop. So thank you guys for watching, and let's get to work.